Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. If you're truly Lord of the City, you're mad. Hi, Lord the First is Harbinger of the Spiff in England, 21 boxes, madman, master of all sanity, and all around a neutral guy. Let's go to High Rothka. I am meant to be asking them for help in finding something or another, I think. Ah. Sky, guard you. Ah, Your training you. proceeds well, Dragonborn. Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Thank you. Now, I need to learn the shout he used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? The Blades are helping me. I'm not a puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Hmm. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. I need to speak to Parthenax then. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. And why haven't they met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. And how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. It will also take care of any of bad weather. Come on, Deldrin. Let's follow Arngar. That's a really nice cloak. I want your cloak. Never mind. He's plot relevant and probably essential. So I cannot get his cloak. Maybe a chest around here. Something around here has the same cloak. Maybe even the robes. Probably not. To be fair though, these dragon priest things look a lot better with the Delvani robes that I'm currently using. Did I... I was standing in the way, wasn't I? So he decided to go all the way around, and I followed him like an idiot. Because I do not know where we are going. I suspect we are going outside. That makes sense, right? But with our current tempo, our speed... I do not know when we will get there. Even that one is humming. Huh. Well, is there anything useful here? No. Come on, let's go outside. The rest of the order is already waiting. No. Yes. Yes, they are over there. At least some of them are. Huh? I think it might be all of them. Except for Arngar, who is currently walking in front of me. And I'm catching up to him because I have those buffs. 
Oh, that's a nerf. How do you get over there? Oh well. Hi. Nova kid. Yes. So Enorf is the only one who vocalizes Arthur himself. Arthanax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Excellent. I think he will teach me the full shelf, right? I grew up in the city of Blacklight in Morrowind. Look! If you ever get the chance, you should visit there. It's spectacular. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Thank you. Alright. Time to set it to my favorites, so I can always use it should I need it. Alright. Time to go to the summit. So I need to blow away the all the mist, eh? Ah. And then fight some ice wraiths. Yeah. Cause why not? Luke. Bye, mist. Ah, frost troll. Yeah. Mine. And then the game froze and we cancelled the episode because it was going to be too long. Standing still on one scene where nothing happens. I was hoping that joke would end before the game would unfreeze, but that seems to not be the case. At least we got a cool looking uh, kill animation out of it. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. All right, a goat. It's nice that the goat has not frozen. I hear you. Come on, Rafe. Ooh, there's a corpse. It only has a shield there, so it's a boring corpse. What do you want, goat? Yeah, sure, you can follow me to the top of the mountain. To the summit. Look! To those who do not know, it is possible to climb the mountain without actually learning to shout first. But that takes a lot of hassling over those ages over there. You just climb around and around them until you unlock the marker atop this mountain. Really, it's a lot of work. But, but it is possible. I saw someone do it on a live stream. Some people were, were going for a Guinness record if I remember correctly. Friends of a friend of mine. This doesn't teach me a word. I'm disappointed. Let's go climb a hill. Come on. Yes, yes, almost there. Um, no, no. Yes, yes. Here we go. The summit of the mountain. That's where I was supposed to go, right? To the very peak. 
I thought there was supposed to be ebony here. No, there is a little. And there is the notched pickaxe. Yes. And Puffernax is now standing around like a silly person who was waiting for the dragonborn. Grim your look. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Hello. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I... Wasn't expecting you to be Dragon. That's a lie. You're the Masters of Greybeards. I knew that. I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. It's okay. Why live alone on a m why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Wrench shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Not until introduction. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dova King. It is nice meeting you, Deldrin. The word calls you. Go to it. Yes, I see it. A gift, Dovaki. Thank you. What a kind master Buffer Nex is. Giving me the ability to breathe fire. Now, That's beautiful, by the way. Show me what you can do. Greet me, not as elf, but as Dova. Um, right, this isn't not here yet. But I also changed my icons on this because I could. Thought this might be interesting. Where is Fire Breath? Here. I have two souls I could use. Is that how you wanted it? Huh? Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Very well. Ah, I have expected you, brother. Toda. <laughs> that was a bad joke. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yes, that is the case. I already told him that, so yeah. The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, 
A question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa. As good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Not stop, delay. The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. It really bothers me. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. That is wings keep clipping in the snow. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? The fabrics of time and space are weaker here. I mean, I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Ranch shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today, seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Okmulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Well, let's see your lucky day. I happen to have the scroll right here. You have it. 
The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay, Alduin will be coming, he cannot miss the signs. Alright then, I think this looks like the right spot, right? Right? There's certainly something sparkly going on here, so I might as well read it here. Not sure if it's just snow or if it's actually what I need to worry about. I think this is the right scroll, right? 